I just want to start by saying I'm going to be saying the word brand a lot in this video and if you can tell me in the comments how many times I say the word brand including the last two times then or well, the first person to guess right in the comments I will send them $25 straight to their PayPal and this isn't a joke or anything literally you let me know in the comments by the time you get to the end of this video if you're the first one you're getting the money. We're going to be talking about the importance of building a brand, the steps on how to build a brand, and the reason why building a brand is so much better than just building a faceless product. And if you're thinking, oh, but I don't really care about this topic, this relates to Amazon FBA, it relates to print on demand, it relates to any type of e-commerce and if you are sitting in front of your computer right now thinking of ways to make money or struggling or just thinking ah i don't know what to do i want to do something this is the core principle that you need especially now in 2020 if you want to have any sort of success i want to try and keep this video to 10 minutes so i'm going to just make this next bit really really short if you haven't already subscribed you're in for a treat a once in a lifetime opportunity and that once in a lifetime opportunity is helping me get to 100,000 subscribers so if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and you know what let's just get cracking on with the video usually that bit's a lot longer but I just want to get on with this video. The importance of building a brand. Let's go into this a bit further. Well, firstly, this allows you to dictate the price to pretty much whatever you want. You can be a budget brand. You can be a luxury brand. All I will say, uh, my piece of advice here, is if you do pick budget brand, don't then halfway into the game go to luxury brand. And if you do go luxury brand, don't halfway into the game go to budget brand because your customers will be very, very unhappy with you. By being able to dictate your price, this allows you to control your profit margins and really not have to worry about the competition. And this is especially quite a big thing when it comes to Amazon FBA, because I'm sure, as you know, the way Amazon works is someone searches for a product and then they're displayed thousands of products and they have to then pick one right now. You are, you are immediately surrounded by all your competition and what can often happen is you can end up become, getting into a price war with other people and other brands. The reason why building a brand can be so good in this scenario is that you are able to dictate your price and people will pay that price because of the brand rather than the product, right? So if you've, if you've created a luxury high quality brand, people will realize that and understand that and will maybe pick you over someone else regardless of the price. Now that's just one aspect of why building a brand is so important, right? There are plenty of aspects. And before I go into actually how to build a brand, I wanna just take a minute out and tell you about a live class that myself and my brother Josh are hosting on Tuesday the 16th of June at 7 p.m. BST. It's a super, super cool webinar that goes into a lot more detail than this video about the importance of building a brand and how that can change your Amazon game compared to everyone else who's selling on Amazon right now. A lot of people who watch my YouTube channel probably don't know that much about Amazon FBA and that's understandable because a lot of you watch my videos for my print on demand videos or you know just random making money online videos. But let me just tell you, Amazon FBA is a brilliant business and watching this live class will open your mind up to other opportunities out there. I've always said Amazon was and is my favorite business that I have yet done besides YouTube and watching this live class will open your mind up a lot to how Amazon works, the importance of Amazon, you know, building brands on Amazon, creating a successful company on Amazon and I feel like you're going to really, really like it and let me just quickly tell you this is a free, free class. I'm not asking you to spend any money. It's the link is in the description if you want to sign up. I will say this, however, and I just I want to be brutally honest with you because as you know, this channel is a no BS channel. I don't want to beat around the bush here. At the end of this live class, we will tell you a bit about our Amazon FBA course, right? We will we, we want to tell you about the course. We also want to give you a pretty sweet deal for the course. So I wanted to just set the record straight that yes, it's a free class, but at the end, we will tell you a bit about our course. I don't want you to think, oh, he's just trying to sell us a course. I'm not. I purely want to educate you in the world of Amazon FBA and 
show you that there are other opportunities out there besides just print on demand and all these small little side hustles. Amazon FBA is a big business. Okay, now that I've said my piece, let me just get right back into how can one build a brand? It's as simple as coming up with a name and a logo, right? And you might be thinking, well, I mean, that's not rocket science. And no, it's really not rocket science. It really is as simple as coming up with a name and a logo. And if you can't think of a name or you can't think of a logo, then you can easily pay someone on Fiverr to build your brand for you. It doesn't cost very much. And this relates to everything. Let's say you're selling t-shirts. Rather than going for that individual product and trying to get lots of sales, build the brand and build the t-shirts around the brand. And that way you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. And the same goes for Amazon as well. Instead of building a one hit wonder product, are then going to find another one hit wonder product. If you just built the brand and built products around that brand, it will be a completely different game and you'll find it a lot easier to get sales down the line. And it's as simple as building a social media channel around this so-called brand. And I know you're probably thinking that it's not that easy. It's really, really hard to build a brand, especially a big name brand. And you are right, it's not easy to build a brand, right? but you've got to start at some point, right? And the best way to start is using free channels like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Facebook, right? Those are the first ways to build a brand. Eventually, when you start making money from your brand, you can put some more money into it and start advertising. Okay. So to end this video, I want to tell you why building a brand is so much better than just doing faceless products one after the other. So building one off products is not very evergreen. In fact, one hit wonders will probably fizzle out. And this is one of the biggest things you see with t-shirts, people making a successful t-shirt, it running for however many weeks or months, and then it's slowly fizzling out. And that person is now back to square one, right? The knowledge they gained from the first t-shirt doesn't really matter because that t-shirt was just a one hit wonder. That is not what I want from you, for you guys. I want you guys to be able to build evergreen companies that last a very, very long time that eventually you can go and sell or even more. Right, and that is, and the same goes for Amazon, right? Instead of just going for a one hit wonder product on Amazon and getting it to however much money, you want to build a brand around that one hit wonder product so that you can then go and add more products to that line. And the best part is you're opening yourself up to so many different opportunities down the line. So for example, one of our students in our Amazon course, they started their brand, they, they built it up on Amazon, and now they have gone, or well, they've been doing this for more than two years now, but they've gone and they've launched their brand inside shops like TK Maxx, which for anyone in America watching this is, I believe, TJ Maxx. And they've also launched their line to um, airlines, which I just think is, is amazing. And it, it basically shows that Amazon is only the beginning and the opportunity that you have from building that initial brand is just huge. Okay, just, just think to yourself right now, if you are watching this video, you have no brand, you don't have a product, you're just thinking about how to make money online, right? Think from now, a year down the line, if you started your brand today, what could be of it? Could you be in, in shops? Could you be, you know, selling to huge companies, to hotel chains? Who knows? All right, the point is you've got to get started straight away. And remember, right, at the beginning of your brand, you want to do you want to decide, you want to do a whole plan, and most importantly, you want to decide what kind of brand you want. Do you want to be a budget brand or a luxury brand? Think of it like this, right? This shoe, this is an Air Jordan shoe. Okay, it's not a, it's not a cheap shoe by any means. It's $300, but when they did a collaboration with Supreme, that same shoe with a few, you know, design differences became a $3,000 shoe, right? And that is because Supreme has built up this incredible, you know, hype beast, crazy brand. And it's really taken their company to a very, very high luxury level. And that's what they wanted to do. And that's absolutely fine. But they had to start somewhere. Okay, everyone has to start somewhere. And I know it feels very daunting because you're looking up the mountain, right? But that's not that's not, that's not how it works, right? And I'm not I'm, I'm I don't want to I don't want to beat around the bush and be like, yes, you're gonna make a million overnight. It doesn't work like that, right? All of this takes a lot of hard work, and and don't tell me you're too old or you're too young or anything like that, because anyone can do this. Anyone can build a brand. And if you think it doesn't apply to you, right? If you think you're maybe unique, well. I'm gonna say you're wrong. And again, I feel like I can do that on this channel because I like being blunt with you. I like being honest. I don't wanna 
sugarcoat things for you, but I genuinely think in 2020, building a brand is so important for all the reasons I've just said and all the reasons we are going to mention on the webinar on Tuesday. So again, if you do wanna learn a bit more about this topic and as well as that, learn a bit more about Amazon FBA and you know how maybe you can get involved in that, then sign up for the webinar. The link is in the description. It's the first link there and it's on Tuesday, the 16th of June. So let me ask you, how many times did I say the word brand in this video. If you get the answer right, leave a comment down below. The first person to comment the right answer, I will send them $25 straight to their PayPal. Just make sure if you comment an answer to kind of stay on the channel so that I can respond to you. It might take me like an hour or so to respond to you. I'll ask you for your PayPal email address and then yeah, I'll just send you the money straight away. Nice and easy. So if you did like this video, you might like this video as well. This video is about how I, at the age of 25, reached over $500,000 with my Amazon business, building my brands. And I thought you might like this video as well. And if not, so be it. But don't forget to click the link in the description and sign up for the webinar.